a, a year ago, we were performing at, at a college. And um, a uh, African-American woman had came uh, and said to the uh, person, the person that, that hired us, you know, why would you bring in a, an act that does blackface? Eddie and Anthony Edwards insist their performance is not blackface. Anthony says the woman had never seen the show at the time of her accusation, and once she did, her opinion changed. And her exact words were, I didn't realize that it was what it was, and never heard anything else from it. And the college is asking us to come back and do more shows with black characters. But now, a recent radio interview in Providence, Rhode Island, is creating issues for the twins. The gentleman from the NAACP said, oh, well, we have to, we, we have to put a, 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 a stop to this. Here's a clip of that interview with Jim Vincent. You know, to me, it, 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 it's semantics. You know, you just should not be putting black makeup on portraying black people. It's just something we just don't do in 2018. Period. Anthony tells me he was shocked when he heard the interview. He had never seen the act. He didn't even know who we were. And then all of a sudden makes the statement to the media, that's not right. And, and I'm not knocking for the way he feels, because blackface is wrong. But that he went, went ahead, he made a judgment call without coming to see our show. Something Vincent even admitted to. Because I didn't know anything about them. I'd, I've never heard of the Edward Twins until last week. But I'm sure if they did that act, I'm sure somebody has said something about that. In December, we flew to Las Vegas to see the show for ourselves. While we were there, I spoke to a few people for their opinion. What was the most surprising uh, person of them all, character? <clears throat> to me, it was Lionel Richie, the change of the color of his skin and the, and the looking so much like Lionel Richie, you know, when you know he looks like his twin brother. I love theater, I love the arts, and I think makeup is makeup. I don't think it's nothing racist about that whatsoever. A friend of the twins, Frank Marino, holds the title of the longest-running Vegas headliner. He impersonated Diana Ross early in his career and stands with the twins. And the reason I don't think it's blackface is because it's not Al Jolson, that crazy, ridiculous look that the, he does. It's a tribute. They just tan their skin a little darker. Two other members of the audience, Deborah and Betty Jean Fox, have spent years in the entertainment industry. Jean is the ex-wife of the late actor Red Fox. Deborah is their daughter. This is how they responded when asked if the performance was offensive. No, it's just part of entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. Vegas is all about entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I, did, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I really liked it. While many in the audience love the performances of African-American artists, the twins claim the Providence radio interview is causing theaters to back out of their contracts. 